Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Ease the Vanished Omens. Let's continue the game. Okay, in order to load our data, we have to uh, start a new game for some reason. There we go. Okay, so, uh, so that's the data loaded. And we're heading over to Zepic. Let's go. Okay, let's have a look at our status. 270 out of 400 to level up to level 3, and 16 gold. Okay. Okay, at this stage of the game, most grinding has to be done outside, and because the enemies inside the dungeons are too powerful. So, this is a tedious process. I'll try to do most of it off camera, because um, I know how boring it is. So, I'll do the same thing as what I did with uh, what every other RPG have done uh, that needs grinding, such as Golden Axe Warrior, Golvilius, and. Fantasy Star and Wonder Boy 3, those sort of games. Um, not Lord of the Sword, that didn't need grinding. Okay, I'll just um, show you what's inside the dungeon and why you shouldn't enter it at this stage of the game. Okay, now there's an enemy coming up here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, now, yeah, look how much health he has and look how he did no damage to him. If, if he hits you, he'll kill you instantly, so there's nothing you can do in here yet. Even if you could get past the enemies without killing them, eventually there's a place where an enemy is blocking a passage, and if you don't kill it, you can't get past, so... I think, anyway, so... Don't go in there. Yet. Okay, here we are in Zepic. Let's talk to some people. When walking in the adjacent fields, I heard a strange voice. What a creepy feeling. Okay, more on that later. I saw a strange person yesterday. He was holding a, st a strange shield and was running for the hills. When I was young, I heard tell of the Books of Ease. They describe how our land was once saved from trouble by goddesses. If such goddesses were around today, we would not be bothered by evil creatures anymore. I heard a rumour that the silver bell was stolen from the mayor's home. Dost thou know if it is true? I'm neither confirming nor denying those reports. Everyone hates the thieves, but they themselves are confused about what is going on. If thou should... Yeah, they mean shouldst. Um, it's shouldst with thou. If thou shouldst want to know more, thou ought best talk to them. Okay, first it should be test, and secondly it should be oughtest best to talk to them, because ought takes infinitive, or the infinitive. Okay, enough of that. Um, okay, now we have Sarah's crystal. This old bag will talk to us. That crystal was once Sarah's. Dost thou search for the books of ease? Then take this. It is a key to the temple. Aaron gets a key to the temple. Okay, talk to her again. I have heard that Sarah's life is in danger. I'm very frightened for her. Why don't you go and visit her then? You silly moo. Right. Um, when I woke this morning, my husband Luther was gone. He's a sleepwalker. I wonder where he. I wonder where he went to. I used to work as a miner. One day we found a strange underground room. There was a strange glow, and two statues of goddesses were standing there. I thought I had crossed into another world or something, or, or maybe someone turned the lights on. Everyone hates the thieves, but they themselves are confused about what is going on. If thou shouldst want to know more, thou oughtest best to talk to them. Oh, it's him again. Yeah, they sort of move around, which is annoying, because you can't remember if you've spoken to them or not. Evil creatures even appear in Zepic these days. If only there were someone to protect us. The Den of Thieves is next, is next to the Tower of, of the Doomed. Since there are so many evil creatures in the tower, the thieves have sealed the door. Yeah, so they won't. Uh, the thieves won't let you into the Tower of Doomed until you have, un until you've met certain conditions, i.e., completed half of the game. 
Thou hast come at a good time. Wilt thou keep what I tell thee a secret? No. It was a waste of time for me to talk to thee. There's no question of it. Yes, the symbol of our village, a silver bell, has been stolen by thieves. Will that, I mean, wilt thou find it for us? Now, even though the arrow is on leave it to me, if you want to choose leave it to me, you have to put the arrow onto the me. So, that's how it is. But I'll choose I can't do it first. I see. Everyone has their limits, I guess. Be on thy way. How dare you talk to me like that? Yes, yeah, okay, um, leave it to me. The thieves hideout is in the hills to the north of this village. Please don't tell anyone in the village about the bell having been stolen. If you can't keep a secret, why should I? Okay, yeah, that'll do. Um, he says the same thing. Okay, so now we're on our way to the hills to talk to the thieves. And one thing I really like about this game is how the graphics look a bit different when you go higher up. It sort of makes it look like you are going higher and higher. Get out of my way, I don't want to talk to them. I'll just save the game actually. One of our gang of thieves, a man named Dogi, became separated from us in the Tower of the Doomed. If he is dead, we would at least like to recover his body to put our minds at ease. We'll be seeing him later. That's really annoying. Yes. Away. Just because I touch you doesn't mean I want to talk to you. Okay, there's nothing over there. But the man's blocking me now. Oh, good. Yeah, he's normally on that bridge. Yeah, that's unusual that he's there. Oh yeah, the, these enemies, yeah, be careful of these. They're, they're quite tough. There we go. But they do give really good gold. Don't touch them from the front. Okay, before we head in there, which is the temple, by the way, I think, anyway, uh, we're going to explore further around these hills, because there's more to explore. And, and it'll give us opportunity to get some more gold and things. We need, uh, I think we need four grand for the, uh, uh, for the next shield and armor, so it's close. There we go. I don't know how to get to that place up there. I'm not sure it's possible. I think this is a dead end. Yep. Yeah, so, so the temple is is the first dungeon. Um, but in order to defeat the boss, we need to be at least level 4. But at level 4 he's really hard because you hardly do any damage to him. However, at level 5 he's really easy, so we, ideally we want to get to level 5. But yeah, that's the entrance to the temple, don't go in there yet. Because we're only at level 2, we need to be at, level, at least level 4 to start dealing with that place. There's some, there are some tough enemies in there. Make sure you save your game often because... It will undo all your, all your grinding as well if you die, so that's another another reason to save often. And the saves are pretty much just like save states. So there's no reason to use save states in this game if you're playing it on an emulator like me. Let's get some health back. Uh, because we need to get really good equipment, we're going to have to get money then keep going back and back and back to Minia over and over again so we can uh, get the equipment and stuff. So I'll do most of it off camera. Go away. That's close. Oops. Okay, 319, save the game. Okay, we're in the hills now. Mm 
there, that was that one. There's normally one up there, but he was further down today. Okay, cross the bridge, and then we're, uh, then we're at a dead end and a door, so we can't go any further. Friend, for what reason hast thou come to this place? Leave. Ah, nothing, never mind. Be gone now. Looks a bit like, um, Highlander. Uh, from the film Highlander. Anyway, look at the trees. It's nice how they, the graphics look as if we're really high up. It's nice that. Okay, so talk to him. Um, thou darest accuse us of stealing from the people. Um, we only steal from the rich. We bother no one else. In fact, we have also been the victims of theft. For some strange reason, everything stolen from us was made of silver. Okay, so he says the same thing over and over again. Yeah, so when you can finally enter the Tower of Doomed, this is where you come to to go in uh, in order to get to the Tower of Doomed. But that's a long way off. A long way off, unfortunately. Or fortunately, because there's lots of game to play and lots of video to show. Oops. Yeah, but the Tower of Doomed is a huge place. It's it's huge, very easy to get lost, lots of extremely difficult enemies and lots of things to do in there. Lots of puzzles and traps and things. It's it's, um, it's like a separate game in there, really. Once you go into the Tower of Doomed, you've been there a while, you, you seem to forget the first part of the game. Oh, he's gone. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing is grinding over here for a long time. What I normally do is enter the uh, the, ta the, the temple, then leave and keep killing the same enemy over and over again. Just kill this one first there. There we go. Yeah, it's impossible to fall off, so don't worry about doing that. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, 53 away from levelling up. And then the next level up is at 800, then 1600, blah 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 blah. I've said all this before, so it gets harder and harder to, le uh, to level up. But once you get to a certain level, uh, like level 6 or something, on level 5, you can just explore this temple, and then just you can kill the enemies in here, and then th uh, th uh, that level you up and get loads of gold and everything. Um, and doing the boss will get you loads and loads of uh, experience as well, of course. Coming to play. He actually hurt me. Okay, so let's keep leaving here. I'll just level up. I'll just level up to level three and then I'll pause the video and then when I come back I'll be at level 4 at least. That's really dodgy. And he's coming after me, how nice of him. Twenty-five more.
Okay, so we leveled up. So I'm going to save the game. And I'll save it on this one. And I'll save it over the first one just in case, actually. Okay, so I'm going to save the game. And when I c uh, I'm going to pause the video. When I come back, I'll be at level 4. Then we'll go and explore the, the temple a bit. So I'll be back in just a mo. And I'm back. Okay, so I ground for about 15 minutes. Let's have a look at our status. Okay, we're at level 4 with 822 experience points. Um, 1600 are needed to level up to level 5. And we also have 2016 gold. Okay, um, I'm also back in Minia. And that's because um, I can buy some more armour for 2000 gold. Okay, plate mail for 2,000 gold pieces. Yep, there we go, good. Okay, let's equip it and then go back to the temple. Now, in the temple um, is our first boss. And I'm pretty sure um, at level 4 you can hurt him, but it does the bare minimum of damage and it's really difficult. So we need to be at level 5 in order to defeat him. Uh, there are also, before the boss, no enemies, so it's pretty easy going before you get to the boss, but um, weirdly, or not weirdly, but if you're stupid enough to get to the, the first boss at level 3, uh, at, um, and you um, and you didn't save it beforehand, you'll find yourself um, completely trapped in the boss room, because you can't hurt him, and uh, and um, and you can't leave, so uh, make sure. Yes, so the only way out is death, pretty much. So make sure that you're level four or above before you enter the boss room, otherwise you will regret it. Yeah, um, at level four we can kill these things first time now. Okay, so we're going back to the hills and going inside the temple. But I will have to get to level 5 before I do the boss because he is really hard at level 4. You do the bare minimum of damage, you know, a slight, slight little bit. Um, um, even when you're at level 5 it's still mildly tricky. So I would say, unless you're really, really good um, and really lucky, don't attempt the boss at level 4. Make sure you're at level 5 before you attempt him. And always save before the boss room. I don't think you can save it inside the boss rooms. Yeah, they're easier now. Okay, so inside the temple. Okay, let's save it first of all. Okay, the palace. Okay, now you'll notice one of these statues is not like the others. So you want to touch that statue. Have a guess which one it is. Hmm. Yeah, so touch this and then we're transported here. Yeah, so this is the uh, the palace or the temple or whatever. So have a look around here. And enjoy the, the creepy music. Yeah, the, uh, the only way out of here is with the the statue as well. So, oh yeah, there's a there's a uh, there's a chest here, and inside is a ruby, and we can sell that to the market bloke and get some money. So, we'll be able, uh, we'll be able to get the uh, the better shield as well very soon. Okay, that's a dead end. Oh no, it's not. There's a doorway here. And uh, that was the chair creaking. I sit on a cheek cheeky. A very, a very creaky chair. Although it is a bit cheeky for being annoying. Okay, so... Okay, there's the statue again. There's another chest in here that's locked, I think. can't remember if it's in the first... on the ground floor or on the uh, first floor. Okay, yeah, there's another chest there, but it's locked. Now, in there is something that is very important, but we won't get the key 
um, until uh, until after we do the first boss. Uh, the key is um, is further inside this dungeon, um, but inside is something very excuse me is something very important. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I mean, um, there's nothing much else. There's nothing much else uh, that you can do in here apart from battle the first boss. Uh, and as I said, the first boss is very difficult at level five, level four, I should say. But I, w um, I will just show you the entrance. But don't go inside yet. Um, I'll, I'll save the game actually before I go in there, and I'll just show you how difficult he is, um, and then I'll load it again before I die inevitably. But the way to the boss is over here. How are we doing for experience? 839 and 98. And we also have a a ruby, don't we? Yep, there it is, beautiful. What's the other thing? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, the key, isn't it, for this place? I think. Okay, the boss is just in here, so save the game now. I'll just save it over the other one as well. Okay, so uh, the boss won't start and he won't be locked in until you touch the top wall. Okay, so now we're trapped in here. And we can neither pause it nor press, uh, nor get the options up. Yes, there's the boss, you just have to touch him uh, and avoid the flames, of course. I really like the music in here. But uh, 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 let's see how much damage we do. Pretty much you want to wait until he's in the middle and then go for it. Yeah, so a tiny bit, as I said at level 4, a tiny bit of damage you do. And look how much damage he did to me. Well, the flames did to me. So yeah, you don't want to attempt this. Um, I have to reset the game now. You don't want to attempt this boss at level 4, ideally, unless you're hardcore. So, yeah, that's that. But yeah, you can't actually load the game inside the boss room because you can't get the uh, the menu up. Uh, the only way to get the menu up is is to die, and then then you can load your game. But I can't be bothered to have to wait to to die. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this place, um, and then I'm going to go back to. I can't remember how much money the ruby uh, the ruby gives you, but I'm going to go back to. Well, I'm just going to grind some more. Um, after this video, I'm going to grind a load more and get myself up to level five, and go, and then I'll save it in Minia, um, and then I'll show you at the start of the next video me um, um, selling the ruby and getting the uh, the next best shield. So that's what I'll do. Oh, there's the statue. Uh, but yeah, the key for that chest on the right is. Is, is past the boss. I'll do some grinding because that didn't take me long to explore up to the boss. So I'll, I'll do some more grinding and then and then I'll uh, then I'll save the game and end the video because I want these videos to be about a half hour long. So I want you to get your money's worth, even though. You know, I do this completely free of charge, and I don't put any adverts on my uh, on my videos or anything. And I also don't ask for donations or any other rubbish. I do this purely for fun. I don't make any money from it whatsoever. Although, I am curious sometimes how much money I would make if I did put adverts on and and if I put, uh, and if I asked people for donations. I feel really guilty about taking donations though because there are much worthier causes that need donations rather than me. I mean, I don't need the money. And uh, if you feel like donating to this, uh, um, if, 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 if you... If you feel like donating, donate to something worthy, like... Uh, the charity I donate to is uh, Wildlife. Uh, some sort of wildlife uh, charity. Like the RSPB or something. 
or WWF. Save the rainforest or something like that. If you want to donate, if you feel like donating, donate to that. Saving leopards and tigers and things. Anyway, you certainly don't want to donate to me. I don't need the money. And I still get complaints on the videos of people leaving comments saying things like, um, oh, start the video, because I I think one of them was, yeah, on my Duke Nukem Land of the Babes part one, bizarrely it has half, dis, almost half dislike to like ratio. Um, um, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, people saying, oh, pl just play the game, don't talk for ages. And to those people I say, um, well, they disliked it, which is fair enough, that's their opinion. Um, uh, but secondly, I don't get any money for this, and if they want to skip me talking about the game for five minutes, then there is a, a handy invention on the videos, which, it, which is a seek bar. All you have to do is just get your mouse and just skip it five minutes, and bingo, you've skipped me talking. It's absolute magic. I mean, I'm not forcing you to watch or listen to me talk for five minutes, but uh, I do think that, I, that when I do talk, it's um, I, I, I do think it's relevant and interesting uh, to the game. And I did, say, and it is part one, so I'm just talking about the game and doing the training mission of Duty of the Land of the Bay. You're not even doing the proper game. Um, and I get, I still get comments despite the fact that I. On part one of Siphon Filter, Siphon Filter 1, I still get comments saying, You missed the M79, even though I put a disclaimer in the video description saying, Yes, I know I missed the M79 because I didn't know it existed, and I've done a part 1.5 where I do the first level again and get the damned M79. I still get people leaving comments saying, You missed the M79, and I, I respond to them and say, Read the video description. I mean, seriously. Why are people so stupid? Just read the video description. That's why. I, that's why. I, that's why I put a video description. Uh, but yeah, so people still make complaints and leave me dislikes, despite the fact that I don't actually ask for any money or get any money for this. So that's just how it is, I suppose. When you when you put yourself out to public like that, one thing you have to put up with. But yeah, I'm at a. I'm at uh, 1,255 subscribers, which is impressive, not bad for the crap I make, and uh, I've been making videos since 2012 now, so not bad. I mean, I did say this in a previous video, when I do Master System games, um, people, I get some people saying, oh, when are you going to do another PlayStation game, like Tomb Raider 2 or something, and I get, so then I do a PlayStation game, I'll, I'll do like Tomb Raider 2, then I get people saying, oh, I only subscribe to you for Master System games, when are you going to do another Master System game? So, okay, I'll do a Master System game, so I'll do, uh, uh, so I'll do this game. And then I get some people saying, oh, when are you going to, I only subscribe to you because you do game books, and you're going to do another game book. So I do a game book for them, and I just, I can't please everyone. It's impossible to please everyone. So, I just do the games I feel like doing. I mean, in the about section of my YouTube page, this this game has actually been on the on the coming soon list for years, along with Renegade and Zool and things. So I thought I'd uh, finally get around to doing my coming soon quote unquote list. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're nearly at uh, half an hour. I think we're at 28 minutes. I had to, I stopped the video in between the last time I, I, I ground, so I, I'm only just looking at... I know the first bit of this video was 15 minutes, so this is at 14 minutes now, so just uh, a couple of more minutes and then uh, I'll end the video. Because I have to combine them with uh, uh, with a video editor. I sky soft the video editor. It's really good. <coughs> it's like Windows Movie Maker, but much better has more features. Okay, so 882. I don't know how much the Ruby will give me. I'm guessing it'll only give me... It might give me... It might give me a thousand? I don't know. But 
yeah, I do plan on doing uh, Tomb Raider 2 at some point. Um, but after this one, I'd like to do Renegade on the Master System. I've been that's been uh, that's been on my coming soon list for years. Along with Ghost House and uh, Miracle Warriors and Zool and this. I've taken this off the coming soon list now because I am actually doing it. It has come. <sighs> I mean, part one of Siphon Builder 1 has like 100, what is it, 100,000 views or something, which is amazing. But it has like 40 dislikes. I imagine half of them are from people who moaning that I didn't get the bloody M79. Uh, so, I mean, if I only had like 50 subscribers and only had like a thousand views, I I would just delete the video and do it again, and just well, which is what I did. I did a, but um, I did do it again, but called it part 1.5. But I would, if I hadn't, if it hadn't had so many views and so many comments and everything, I I, um, I would have just deleted the video and just replaced it with part 1.5 with the one I did then. But I can't now. Well, I still can, but I, it'd be stupid to because it has 100,000 views. <clears throat> and it is quite a popular video, so it attracts people to the channel. Um, yeah, so I can't really delete it now. Bloody M79. Who ca I didn't need it anyway. The first level was easy without it. Alright. Okay, so okay, let's end the video now, and let's yes, save the game, of course. And when I come back in the next part, part of at the start of next the next part in part three, I will have well, I'll be at level five first of all. I'll be in Minia, and I'll have uh, lots of money so I can get the the uh, yeah, the next best shield. So thank you for watching and goodbye.